Welcome to Still City News and good morning. This past weekend, we stopped by Cupcake Wars at Stratagos in North Huntington, Pennsylvania. The event is organized by the Norwin Lions Club and it benefits a great cause. Dina Denning, Norwin Lions Club. Okay, so tell me about this event. Ah, uh, this is the coolest event. So it's called a Cupcake Wars, not a cup cake because we're Norwin Lions and we feed our younger children which are lion cubs so that's why we have a cupcake wars and what we have is 24 bakers that bring their heart and soul to this event every penny that we raise goes to purchase the food for our kitty sack bags which is our kitty sack project every Friday we fill this up and we give this to 50 students in our um, area that have nothing to eat from the time they leave school on Friday until they return on Monday. The thing is, everybody here, when they, when they bake these cupcakes and they come here with these awesome table decorations, they don't get a penny out of it, nothing. The, every penny they donate back to us so that we can continue feeding our kids. That is just an awesome event for the community to come together. Very nice. So what do they look for in judging the cupcakes? Yeah. Well, obviously taste is one thing. If they have um, ingredients in their cupcakes that start with an L, I, O, N, or S, you do get bonus points for that. You have to make sure that you pre present your cupcakes very creatively. If you put it on a paper plate, you're not going to get as many points as if you have some sort of theme going on. So that's what our panel one and two judges judge on. Then they move up to our panel three judges and they really get into the taste, the eye appeal, does the frosting match with the cupcakes, and they really scrutinize the cupcakes at that point. Now, who are some of the judges up here? I saw some judges up there, and it looks that looks like a really fun job. Oh, my gosh. Well, we had our one panel of judges. There were three of them, and they represented Lions International. We had another panel of judges that were all community-based folks. And our third panel of judges, we have Rick Seebeck from Channel 13. You probably know him from PBS. We have Mark Zingarelli, who is a cartoonist absolutely wonderful man and then we have Harry Stratigo the owner of this wonderful facility Patty Sanner and these are my granddaughters so go ahead this is Isabella Mackenzie and Dakota okay so what do you have here well we got I am a florist so I decided to do a floral shop and we made kid-friendly cupcakes and we made adult cupcakes which have rum chata pina colada and amaretto Amy Harrison. Okay, so you just said you sold out of a cupcake already? Yes, we sold out of the, we had chocolate, banana, peanut butter ones, completely sold out. They were our most popular today. So other than that, we have a variety of, there are two different kinds of cupcakes. One's a buttercream, one's an Italian buttercream, and we just make them to come donate. It's a lot of fun. Zach Bohinski of the Norman Church of the Nazarene. Okay, very nice. So what do you have here? We have a... Uh, Milky Way Cupcake. It's our chocolate malt cupcake with uh, nougat down the middle, salted caramel buttercream, and then we have cosmic dust over top. We are the Game Nights and we have a bunch of different board games for our cupcakes. Um, this one here is very good. It's Life um, um, Creamsicle. And we have a bunch of different flavors <laughs> that are really good. So what goes into judging? Well, there's two levels of judging. There's the first line in the back, and they taste everything. They taste all the cupcakes, and then they make recommendations forward. So I think, I don't know, were there 25 or 30 cupcakes total? And then we only had, to, we, the three finalist judges only had to eat 12. So they whittled it down for us. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. It was a tough <laughs> job, but somebody had to do it. That sounds like a really difficult job. So now, if you favor a certain type of cupcake, maybe like raspberry or something in there, does or a certain type of icing, does that play a role in the judging at all? How do you block that out? Well, of course it plays a role, yes. I mean, I, I love carrot cake cupcakes, so I have a real... You know, that, that, that's a big step in, in your favor if you give me a carrot cake cupcake. And, and we were, had two. There were two in that group. Yes. Yeah, so, um, I don't know, I just like that icing and everything. And I, I think a lot of people put a lot of work into the presentation. And, you know, that, that's a factor, too. In fact, we only had to give two numbers. One is for the presentation and one is for the taste. Mm.